Way 31's Will Robinson Smith is live outside City Hall with what residents had to say to their leaders tonight. Will. Yeah, guys, within the last five minutes or so, the city council meeting here behind me just wrapped up a long night for both council members and people that came to voice their opinions. And really, it was a mixture of both disappointment and some frustration with how the city and Huntsville police conducted the protests and some of the aftermath last week. But they also voiced their opinion of a desire for things to get better. I'll be honest with you, officer. I'm scared of you. I'm afraid of you. In three minute monologues, dozens of residents came forward to voice their feelings about protests where Huntsville police said they used tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse crowds of protesters. It's hard to reconcile images of courthouse snipers taking aim at my friends and neighbors with the brand of a smart place. Photographer David Capo brought some images to the meeting and says he was hit by rubber bullets during the protest. However, he says he will continue showing up to rallies until he sees departmental reform. This is a problem and I'm pissed off about it enough that I'm going to go do something. So it has absolutely cauterized the fact that I'm going to be right in the same spot next time, every time. And if they don't like it, I guess I'm going to start collecting rubber bullet wounds. Many people during Thursday's meeting asked to see a demilitarization of the police department and for better communication. And we just want transparency and we want accountability. That's the responsibilities of our city that they have to us to protect and serve. Several spoke to a desire for the Confederate monument to come down from the courthouse. Before the vote on the monument, Council President Devin Keith argued that even though there are legal hurdles, that doesn't mean they should wait. It takes a cost to do something right. So if we continue to push the can and say we're going to wait till it's legal, it'll be there by the time that I'm gray haired and you know, I won't be in this seat. But at some point, I'm in Huntsville Police Chief Mark McMurray and another officer took notes as they listened to what people said tonight. Mother of two, Jamie Hanks, says much of what they're asking for would benefit the whole community. The requests that we're making aren't expensive. Uh, they're not time consuming. And if we don't have any issues within law enforcement here, then it should be a win win for everybody. Now, the Huntsville uh, City Council will meet again here next week at 5 o'clock for a special called session where they will be hearing from Huntsville Police Chief Mark McMurray regarding the protests last week. That meeting again will happen at 5 o'clock next Thursday. Reporting live from downtown Huntsville, Will Robinson Smith, Way 31 News.